Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get IPTV Smarters to your Fire Stick or Android TV. IPTV Smarters is an extremely popular IPTV player that a lot of people use. It is really stable and works with majority of IPTV providers. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get the app to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, you have to go to search on your device, so let's do it. Click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and click on the search bar. So we click on it, and here in that search bar, we'll have to start entering the loader. So let's do it. And now, as you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader. And that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we'll go to settings and let's do it right now. We gotta go to that button with the gear icon. Then we need to scroll down and open My Fire TV. Open it. And here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, you just gotta go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then you need to open install unknown apps, open it, then locate the loader and make sure that this option is turned on. So basically, what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, let's open it. And there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Cyprus right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So now we can open the downloader application, there it is, let's open it. Then on the left side menu, you have to click on home, that's important. Do not click on browser, click on home, yep, on home. And here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, your code is 28907, make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen, and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make any mistake, your code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go, and now in a couple of seconds, a website is going to open up for you, usually it takes around 5 seconds. And now when the website has opened, we have to scroll down a little bit, 
until we see that list of categories. And from the list of categories, we need to click on IPTV players. So let's click on it. Then a huge list of apps is going to open up for you. And here we are looking for IPTV Smarters Pro. And there it is, that's the app that we're looking for. Let's click on it. Then a new web page is going to open up for you, which you also need to scroll down. You have to keep scrolling until you see that download button right here. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So for now we have to click on download. And now in a couple of moments, the IPTV Smarters is going to start downloading to your device. Usually it doesn't take too long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install and wait until IPTV Smarters is installed to your device. That shouldn't take too long, just a couple more seconds. And after that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we really do not need it anymore on your Fire Stick device, so it will save us some space. So click on delete here, and this way we have erased unnecessary files from your device. After that, finally, let's go to the list of applications on your Fire Stick. There it is, open it, then scroll down, and here at the bottom you will find IPTV Smarters. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, you can use a link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. And now finally, let's open IPTV Smarters. Now we'll have to select our device type, which is of course a TV. then let's click on save. And from here, everything is pretty simple. So if you have an M3U link, which is the most popular way to add IPTV playlists, you need to click on M3U, then you need to click on allow, add any name to your playlist, and then either upload it as a file or click on M3U URL, and here you enter a link, which you get from your live TV provider. There are thousands, if not more, different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which one to choose. So you choose any of those, enter the link that they gave you, click on add playlist and the playlist is going to appear in the list of your playlist right here. It would be available right there, I don't have any playlists yet, but if you add any, of course, it's going to appear right here. Alternatively, instead of M3U links, you can use XTM codes here in the IPTV Smarters app. That's another pretty popular way to add playlists. You would click on it, here add any name to your playlist, then enter a username, password and the link. All that data, of course, once again, you get from your live TV provider, whichever you choose. Then you click on that add playlist and it's going to appear. And pretty much that's it. That's the easy way to get IPTV Smarters brought to your Fire Stick and to set it up. Subscribe to my channel for more content on Fire Sticks and see you next time. Bye bye.